Hello and welcome, this is Sarah. Today we are continuing our mod tutorials and today we are doing the um, working with the XML injector. So you might be wondering, why are we already doing the XML injector? Um, it's basically because I want videos to refer back to um, to explain how actually certain things work. So I don't have to explain in every future video how the XML injector work. I can just link this video and then you, you can just refer back to this video. So before we begin, you'll have to download um, the download here download button and the download a mother's documentation i recommend this because it's very very helpful if you've never created a mod before but you still want to follow along i've created this xml injector tutorial package file over here that you can download the link is in the description down below um, so you can download that and then just follow along with the tutorial. Now, one thing I want to mention is if you have downloaded the document, the modders document file for the XML injector, there is a PDF file which literally explains everything of how to inject your interactions into the XML injector. Um, so I would say definitely give it a good read. So the main reason you will want to use an XML injector is because when you create an interaction, you also have to create a, a script file. And this can be very complex, especially in the beginning. And honestly, I'm not that familiar with it either. So that's why I have invested in learning how the XML injector works. And also a script file can only be one folder deep into your mods folder. And this can become quite confusing to some people. Um, it can create chaos and it's just honestly, it's easier, way more relaxing for you to just use the XML injector. So here I have created um, a interaction with uh, the mod constructor 5. And as you can see, when I exported this, there was also a script file. Um, yeah, I can just say, you know, add this these two together to my mods folder, but I wanted to use the XML injector, so that's what we're using today. This XML injector package file over here is an exact copy of this file. So for now, I'm just going to delete that. And now if you're following along and have downloaded the tutorial file, then you will have this file as well. So let's go and open it in the Sims 4 Studio and have a look at that file. So here we are in the Sims 4 Studio. I have opened the XML injector tutorial package file. So if you're following along again, this is exactly what you'll see. So what I have done, I have created two interactions, one for the phone and one for the computer. Um, these interactions, I just plainly copied them from the Sims 4 interactions and I just created my own outcome to it. This is not a proper interaction tutorial. So uh, this is just a tutorial for the XML injector. So we'll go f in the future over a proper tutorial for interactions. Now, what I want these interactions to do, um, I have already, let me scroll down to where it says outcome here. So I wanted these, both these interactions to have an outcome of just giving my sim a buff. And the buff that I've created is over here. I'm not going to go over how to create buffs. There will be another tutorial, most likely the next tutorial of how to create your own buffs. And then I do recommend keeping this file so you can check out if your buff is exactly how you want your buff to be. So now we're going to go and add these two interactions into the XML injector. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to open the hash generator. And then for the hash generator, we're going to create a new card. So just type in um, your creator name. In my case, it's XOSDR. And then I'm doing a underscore and I'm going to say XML injector underscore phone because I'm going to start with the phone. <laughs> so I'm going to download the FN464 and copy that. Sorry, I meant copy, not download. <laughs> I'm going to close that. We're going to open here, um, click on add, and then we're going to create a new snippet. And in the instance, we're going to paste what we just copied. I'm going to click OK. And now we have created a snippet tuning file that is still completely empty. 
So the snippet for creating the interaction to the phone um, is very, very simple. So here I'm just gonna, honestly, yes, I'm just gonna go and copy this over here in the um, injector mod documentation for the XML injector. So here it has add interactions to phone. So I'm gonna go and copy exactly what we're seeing here. Then I'm gonna paste it over here now, what we have to do next to make sure that this interaction works with the XML injector is we're going to go into data over here. So if you've just copied this and pasted as well, I'm going to go and click here and say copy. These are the numbers that we have just created before. I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to control click and say paste. Now we have our own numbers. It is very important that the numbers you see here are not the exact numbers that you see here. If something went wrong and these numbers are still the exact same numbers in here and in here, I recommend opening the tools and opening the hash generator and create a new code again. Then the FN464 code, you paste it in the instance and then that is done. Then for this tuning file to update, we're just going to go up and down and it updates. Now next, I do recommend changing the name. I have changed it here to XOSDR underscore XML injector underscore phone. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go and place the... Oh, it updated by itself. Good. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it does update if you're going one up and then like one down. Now to add our interaction from our phone, we are going to go here into the XML um, injector tutorial underscore phone or whatever phone interaction you have. We're going to click into data and we're going to copy the tuning ID. Now we're going to go back into the XML injector phone. I'm going to go into the XML and I'm going to change these numbers over here. So again, I'm going to go and control um, click and then say paste. And then it has changed these numbers into the numbers of this interaction. Now I'm also going to delete this because it's not necessary if you have multiple phone um, interactions, you can just continue this list and add all the interactions that you want to the phone. Now for the last thing that I like to do is I like to take the name of the file and I'm going back into the XML injector here. I'm going to select all the screen and then I'm go just going to paste so I know exactly um, the numbers to which file it belongs. And that is it. Now you have added this phone interaction into the XML injector. Super simple and super quick. Now for the computer interaction, it's a little bit more complex. One thing I do want to mention is that over here, um, this whole section, it says only one of each of these lists may be specified in an XML injector snippet. So meaning we can only create a snippet for an add interaction to objects or an add interaction to sim or an add interaction to phone or add interactions to relationship panel or add mixer interaction. Um, this we already created our phone. Um, if you're a little bit confused, it says over here the add interactions to phone. So we've created this one already. What means in this mod right now, we cannot add another snippet that says that has the interaction, um, add interaction to phone. So that's why I mentioned before, if you have more phone interactions, just continue the list down by adding them. Now, because the computer is an object, we'll be adding the add interactions to object. What I mentioned before about it's a little bit more complex is because there are so many objects in game and that's why it's just very important that every interaction you have for an object is in this one adds interactions to object snipping tuning. So again, I am going into the hash generator and I'm going to add here a new snippet. I'm gonna paste those numbers that I just copied and then I'm gonna say, okay. Now we have another empty file now we are here back in this file and we can scroll down and we find the um, objects, the XML injection snippet 
add two objects for this one. I am only going to copy this. Um, you can, however, copy the whole thing. Um, but for me, I'm just going to copy only the top three rows. Then I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to paste that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy that and make sure those numbers are exactly the same. Now we have multiple options of how we're going to add this interaction to the computer. Um, we can use the add to objects um, as in an object list but then you have to add all the different computers. So I'm not going to do that. It will, it will take a while. Um, I'm gonna go and show you guys the um, thrift store overhaul mod that I have and the XML injecture for objects. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. So here we have a object um, to object list and it is an interaction that it's added to the mannequin. Um, and as you can see, I had to list every single mannequin that is in game. So just to have the one interaction. So I don't want to do that with the computers because there's so many computers in game. Also, I added this interaction as well to the computers. And as you can see, what I did is I added it as an object selection, objects with affordance, objects with affordance. And then it says affordance, um, the 225064, what is the number for the Sim Picker interaction computer locking every <laughs> lock for every one? I'm sorry, that was a whole mouthful. But it basically just means that the interaction is now added to any object that has the computer computer locking lock for any everyone interaction. Oh my god. So <laughs> For the computer, we'll be using that here as well, um, just because it's easier. And if the Zooms comes out later with new computers, you don't have to add that computer to your whole object list. Um, it will be automatically added to the computer because the computer will already have that um, affordance um, 225064. So for me, instead of writing the whole thing over again, I'm just going to copy this from my other mod and then paste it in here. Um, you can just pause the video and write everything down that you see over here. Um, just wait just one second because I do have to change a few things. So I'm going to keep here. This, this will stay exactly the same. However, here we have the list of super affordances. And in this list, we will um, add the XO SDR XML injector tutorial computer file. So we're going in here and we're going to copy that, go back in here paste it in there. I'm going to go back in and then I'm going to copy that one. Go back and paste. So now what I've done is I've added the computer interaction to the um, to any object that now has the 225064 added to affordance to that object. What well, is the computer locking lock for everyone? Uh, it might still be a little bit confusing, but basically any computer has this affordance added to it. So that's why we are just doing it this way, like I've mentioned before. Now it's also important, we're gonna change the name to And I'm gonna call this objects and not computers because you have multiple objects you will have to add them all in the same snippet okay so now we are basically done adding the phone interaction to the phone and adding the computer interaction to the computer so i'm going to save this and say okay my package has been saved then we are going to go into here into where you wherever you left your um the download or your mod so i'm going to say and copy that I'm, i don't drag it in because i leave the sims 4 studios open and if i'm going to continue editing it it also needs to stay in the place that you left it if that makes sense and now I'm just going to go and paste it into the electronics, the Sims 4 mods folder. I make sure I have the XML injector installed as well. And now I'm going to go and close this. I'm going to 
make this smaller and I'm gonna go in here and open The Sims 4. So here we are in game with Lana Winter um, and we're gonna go and test our interaction that we created. So I'm gonna click on the computer. Um, for this interaction it is in households so I'm gonna go in there I'm gonna say more and then here we see the XML injector tutorial that's how this interaction is named so I'm gonna click on that and now she's gonna go and do the interaction I'm gonna fast forward it takes a while <laughs> Yes, so here we are and here we see the mod creator from Mod Tutorial. Lana knows she created this mod correctly because this buff is now showing. So that's the quick buff that I created and now I know it works perfectly. So yeah, that is the computer interaction. So I have removed the buff and now we're going to go and look into the phone interaction. So the reason I've removed the buff is because if your sim already has that buff, they are not gaining that buff again. Um, that's the settings that I've set for it. So the other one is in home and then it is here, XML injector tutorial. Make sure you click the tutorial and not the test. I know it might be quite confusing, but it is the tutorial. So I'm going to click on that. And now she's going to go and grab her phone, look on her phone, and then she's gonna get the buff. And there it is, mod creator from Mod Tutorial. Lana knows she created this mod correctly because this buff is now showing. And that's it, it's so simple, the XML injector. I know it can be quite confusing. Um, you can add this to Sims as well. And all I'm saying is just read the document um, and have a good read at it. So yeah. Here we are. This was our tutorial for the XML injector. I hope I helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see a certain uh, mod created in a certain way, please let me know as well. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time. Bye.